Nia Long is an American actress who acquired the bulk of her money and fame while starring in popular films like The Best Man, Big Mama's House, and TV shows like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Empire. After spending the better part of a decade getting her acting career off the ground, Nia became a Los Angeles homeowner for the first time when she dropped an undisclosed amount on the former home of actor Giovanni Ribisi, a 2,819 square foot residence with three bedrooms and four baths that she picked up in April 2003. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. When asked by Architectural Digest, to describe her home in five words or less, Nia chose to frame it like this. A peaceful, private little treehouse. And honestly, she nailed it. I mean, just look at the outside of this thing. Not only does it extend high up off the ground, but there are trees everywhere you look. This property was originally built in the 1940s and Nia claims that the home's clean lines were one of the first things that drew her to the place. But when it comes to her sense of interior design, she says that the most important thing is that her house gives off a ton of color. Nia started off with neutral tones for her furniture, like in the den where she has a custom made chaise lounge that she had specifically designed to better suit her former partner, Yime Udoka. To complete the look, she tops everything off with explosions of color from her accessories, be it pillows, carpet, or the art hanging on the walls. In fact, a whole bunch of the paintings on display in Nia's house have been created by her mother, a professionally trained artist from the University of Iowa who has two master degrees in fine arts. The heart of Nia's original LA home is made up of an open floor plan that combines the living room, dining room, den, and kitchen all into one epic space. It's something that Nia always appreciated about her home because it forced her family to all occupy the same area as much as possible. Or as she put it to Architectural Digest, the open layout keeps everybody close. So while Nia is over in the kitchen cooking up a healthy meal with the help of that top of the line range on her center island, which also boasts a built-in oven and stainless steel finish, she can keep an eye on her kids sitting at the dining room table directly across from her or watching TV around the corner in the den. Upstairs are the home's bedrooms, including the master suite, which comes complete with a vaulted beam ceiling, as well as a walk-in closet on one side of the room and direct access to the ensuite bathroom in the other. Speaking of the master bath, inside you'll discover a deep soaking tub, massive glass enclosed shower, and a marble finish on the vanity. Rounding out the bedrooms are two more rooms perfectly suited for each of Nia's children and big enough that they can include not only a bed, but a desk for schoolwork. With this home being set into the hills of LA, Nia's backyard is composed mostly of one large multi-tiered deck. That of course, with her partner being a former basketball star, also includes an entirely necessary stationary hoop. Not far from there is also a lagoon style pool set into a stone deck and surrounded by a giant hedge that cultivates privacy. After living in this home for almost 20 years, Nia listed the home in March 2021 for $2.9 million. Reason being, she was getting ready to move to Boston to spend more time with Ime, who was about to take over as the head coach of the Boston Celtics. Ime Udoka was named the head coach of one of the NBA's most prestigious franchises heading into the 2021-2022 season. By the end of that season, he had managed to take his squad all the way to the NBA Finals, where they ultimately came up short to the Golden State Warriors. For all intents and purposes, it seemed like Emis Tenura's Boston's head coach would turn legendary. And then in September 2022, just weeks before the new season was set to kick off, the Celtics issued a statement that Udoka had been suspended for violating team policies and noted that his future with the team was being reevaluated. Shortly before the Celtics issued that statement, ESPN reported that Emi had a role in an intimate relationship with a female member of the franchise's staff. People Magazine would later confirm these allegations. Shortly thereafter, Ime gave a statement to ESPN's Malika Andrews, stating, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision. I gotta be honest, if I was him, I would have led with apologizing to my family instead of stuffing them into the middle of that statement like an afterthought. But maybe that gives you a sense of his priorities, at least at that time. 
Nia and Ime had been together since meeting in early 2010, when Udoka was still playing in the NBA as a member of the Sacramento Kings. At the time, Nia was in Boston filming a pilot for NBC and Ime just happened to be in town playing against the Celtics when a mutual friend set them up. By June 2011, Ime and Nia were expecting their first child together and their son Kez was born that November. During the bulk of their relationship, Nia had always been adamant that marriage was not necessarily a priority for her. But the two would nonetheless get engaged in May of 2015. They took their time to walk down the aisle, but after Ime was named the head coach of the Celtics, things seemed to be progressing in that regard. As previously mentioned, Nia listed her longtime Los Angeles home and, along with her kits, packed up to move to Boston to be closer to Udoka. They had even started to house hunt. Then, literally two weeks later, the scandal involving Ime hit the internet. Sources suggest that by the time Nia moved to Boston, Ime was already well aware that his affair had been discovered by the front office and it was about to blow up. Still, he waited until just a few days before the news hit the airwaves to tell Nia about it. As devastating as it must have been for her, Nia says the hardest part about this whole thing is how the Celtics organization handled the press conference announcing what had happened. She told The Hollywood Reporter, I think the most heartbreaking thing about all of this was seeing my son's face when the Boston Celtics organization decided to make a very private situation public. Once the truth was out there, Nia's relationship with Ime was definitely over. They remained committed to co-parenting their son Kez, but outside of that, Nia was ready to start over by returning to Los Angeles. After returning to LA late 2022, rather than move back to her original Hollywood Hills home, Nia found a modern house in the same area for $3.6 million, boasting four bedrooms, four baths, and a whole host of other goodies. Nestled into a secluded cul-de-sac and located on a gated parcel of land spanning less than a quarter acre, much like her original Los Angeles home, Nia's new digs has been described in listing materials as a peaceful private retreat. Originally constructed in the late 1950s, this stucco structure has undergone a series of transformations, including the conversion of the formerly pinkish exterior to a new shade of all white. Out front, a serene courtyard holds a fountain that empties at a pair of dark blue front doors, neatly encased in a wood design. These open into a wide entry foyer boasting that same moody shade of blue. The interior of Nia's new digs measures out to just over 2,000 square feet of split level living space and boasts glamorous interiors with new hardwood floors, high post and beam ceilings, skylights, chlorestry windows, as well as designer light fixtures, plus a sound system that extends all the way to the outdoors. In the light-filled living room, a floor-to-ceiling wood-burning fireplace with a tile and terrazzo-clad hearth serves as the space's focal point while also boasting sliding doors that spill out to a partially covered separate patio that no doubt gets a lot of use for alfresco dining and a little bit of lounging. Elsewhere tucked off to the side is a small den lined with a built-in wall unit painted in a bright shade of green. Only a few feet from there is a window dining area that connects seamlessly to a wood blanketed kitchen outfitted with a breakfast bar and top of the line appliances. Upstairs is Nia's spacious primary suite that includes its very own sitting area and enclosed balcony overlooking the multitude of treetops surrounding the property, a walk-in closet, and an all-inviting bath equipped with dual vanities, a soaking tub, and a shower. As for the backyard, it's been freshly landscaped and is finished off with a saltwater pool and spa, flanked by a wood sun deck on one side and a sunken fire pit on the other. Upon moving into her new family home, Nia celebrated the moment by posting a picture of her new kitchen to Instagram and writing in a now deleted post, thankful for new places and spaces. So is Nia Long finally ready to move on after everything that happened this past year? It certainly seems that way. And hey, if anyone deserves that opportunity, it's her. Thankfully, she's appearing in great projects like Netflix's hilarious comedy, You People, to keep herself occupied. All right, that'll bring this latest tour to an end. Thanks for watching, and before you go, consider answering the following question.
Would you rather live in a private abode shrouded in trees or an exposed home with epic views of the nearby surrounding area? Let me know if privacy is important to you as it is to Nia in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to never miss an episode. And if you're looking for more house tours, be sure to check out the other ones on this channel, including Jonah Hill and Lauren London. My name is Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.